Hi guys, Micro here. This is my mining and smithing rework video about comparing old versus new monster drop tables. So when the mining and smithing rework happened, everything changed when it came to drop blocks. There was stone spirits being added. There was loads of different salvage items replacing all of the addy, rune, etc. that was normally dropped by monsters. These items have different values to what they used to do and the spring cleaner works differently. So I'm going to talk about all of that in this video, show you a spring cleaner setup and compare old GP versus new GP rates of different Slayer monsters. So let's get into it. So what I do for my setup is I make sure it alks every single rune one. All of the rune salvage is worth alking. The rune alks 8k per tier. So 8k for the tiny, 16 for the small, 24 for the medium, 32 for the large, and 40 for the huge. I also out the biggest addy one because that outs for 10k. Then I leave the other addy ones to drop on the floor because I out those myself as it's cheaper than a spring. It's 2k for the tiny addy, 4k for small, 6k for medium, 8k for large, and 10k for the huge. So I only really warrant using this ring on the huge. Then there's this really cool new mode that's called disassembly mode, and it's completely free and doesn't cost springs. When you select it to be green, this shows that it's now disassembly mode. So the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not really going to sell any of, you know, the bronze, the iron, the steel, or the myth. And because of that, I'm just going to get it automatically disassembled by the spring cleaner. Really, really cool that it automatically disassembles them for free and it just clears the floor for you. So the only things I'm going to have dropping on the floor are these addy items that I don't want to use springs on but still want to out. Everything else has a 100% chance to disassemble for free. And all of these big items have a 100% chance to use a spring to be out. There's no more fouling of the spring cleaner, at least for when you're 9001. I don't know at the lower tiers, but 9001 has a 100% chance. Absolutely amazing. That is my spring cleaner setup. Hopefully that helps you guys set up your spring cleaner too. The only other thing that I can add is if you go into items, and this way it works exactly the same as it used to with the dismantle. You then just break the items down into their components and I feel like it's still worth it for the battle staves, the dragonstone jewelry and the black dragon hide. That is it for my spring cleaner. Moving on to testing the drop rates of different monsters now that we have our spring cleaner set up. Abyssal Demons are pretty much the same GP as what they used to be. So the reason why Abyssal Demons are still good is because things that they used to drop that would alk well are still going to alk very, very well. These would have been Addy Battle Axes. Addy Battle Axes didn't even alk very good, but they used to sell on the GE very well. Now you can alk them for 6k each, which is just, it's insane to me, dude. That's a lot of money. So I can alk these for 6k. If I get tiny rune stuff, that would have been a rune dagger, it alks 8k so the chance of getting addy battle axes is now the same chance as getting a new addy item same applies with the tiny rune items the chance of getting a rune dagger now gives you tiny rune items and the spring cleaner will auto alk it i'll do this for like half an hour and we'll just see how much gp gain we can get yeah the only downside is the runeite stone spirits and the adamantite stone spirits will not be worth as much so because of these stone spirits not being worth as much you do lose a little tiny bit from the stone spirits but they do stack and you can sell them and they'll still sell for a little bit even if they don't sell for tons and tons a runite ore is 3k right now if it stabilizes around that then you know that stone spirit is still going to be worth a couple of k and that's still going to be decent just not quite as good but because other things are worth a bit more i feel like it might be more gp we'll have to see right now we're getting an average of three mil gp an hour in profit but the pure drops that we've got is 885k the reason why our profit is so low is because we're using an ectoplasmator and such which really does cut into the profit but i'm doing it for the afk factor while streaming and it just allows me to chill and get everything done and talk to people but um if i wasn't using the ectoplasmator my gp gain would be a lot higher than 3.2 mil an hour it'd probably be more along the lines of 4 mil pure profit which is actually really really good pretty similar to what they used to be thumbs up for me on abyssal demons abyssal demons are great let's go test another monster abyssals pretty much haven't changed so that's good you get a bit more gp from the stuff like the adamant salvage and because you get a bit more gp from the addy salvage it doesn't matter that you're losing that a little bit on the adamantite stone spirit or the runite stone spirit stuff like that so that's pretty good dark beasts are heavily affected the amount of rune items they drop they rock they drop rune full helms rune chain bodies so spring cleaner should work pretty well here we can see how much gp i can make see if it's worth doing see if i can get some nice gains so let's do it i feel like dark beasts were affected to some extent and 
they're not quite as good as they were. I believe Dark Beasts were about 4 mil GP an hour. Now, they're not quite as good as they were. They're okay. I'm not saying they're bad, but as you can see, they're like free to like 3.2 mil GP an hour. I think I've been a bit RNG based with all of the sharks that I've got. I've had a lot of them, so they haven't been great. 3 mil GP an hour from Dark Beasts. They're about a quarter less than what they used to be. Honestly, I feel like Dark Beast dropped so many more sharks now. I don't know whether that's an error or a bug or anything, but the amount of sharks I've had is insanely more than what I used to be getting. So I don't know how good the drop table has been changed. And obviously, Addy or used to be a bit of GP from Dark Beast. Now we've only got the Stone Spirits, which are kind of bad. And I don't think I've out that much in my Spring Cleaner either. Dark Beast seem very bad. So yeah, we an ended those Dark Beasts off at 3.3 .3 mil GP an hour compared to the four mil they used to be not as good whereas the abyssal demons are pretty much the same as they used to be dark beasts are a bit worse okay i really 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 hope that this doesn't suck because if it sucks i'm gonna be rather sad spiritual warriors seem pretty good because 24k from a medium bladed salvage that would have been the rune long swords they never out for 24k and they used to give you two rune knight ore which again was not quite 24k so that's pretty good that's that's some good money 8k from the tiny spike salvage was the rune dagger so that's slightly less because that would have given you a rune knight ore which was 10k so not quite as good there although it's still pretty decent so we made a little bit from the bladed salvage lost a little bit from the tiny salvage so we you know we're even right now let's see what else we can break down so the rune kite shield would have given you free rune knight ore being just over 32k so again very very close to where it was very nice i like seeing that one the medium bladed salvage is in place of the addy two-handers they used to out for 3.8k which kind of sucked but they were worth like 6 to 7k gp but that means you had to note them which means your pure profit from those is what like five five and a half k or something which means when i out this i'm still getting as much profit from the 6k out even with the out runes every addy two-hander to why i was noting them which is really really useful that's good to know oh they're still good lads and ladies huge bladed salvage times too gives us 80k when it outs look at that that was the halberd being out they used to out for 76k so they're even better now that is really really nice okay that's that's i'm happy with that so they're probably about four to five mil gp an hour again they were about that for quite a long time four to five mil completely afk decent xp decent drops i'm very happy with that super happy super chuffed 10 out of 10. So we're going to assign ourselves some gargoyles and we're going to go test gargoyles because they used to drop so many items as well. The Addy helms and boots, they don't really out for much profit and they never have. So the salvage might be a little bit better now or it might be the same. And then all of the rune items should be really good with the spring cleaner. So let's go give it a test. Jesus, the spring cleaner has already out so much. Like, I've already out so much with the spring cleaner. I just keep seeing it go. That's insane. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like this. Keep going, spring cleaner. Keep outing, my boy. So this was probably the Addy Full Helm because it's a bit bigger and it outs for 4k. Okay, Addy Full Helms are now much better because they used to out for like 2.4, 2.5. That's nearly double what they used to be. The tiny ones, I'm guessing is 2k, yep. And that is the boots. So the boots are pretty much the same as they used to be. Not super worth alking, but you make a bit of profit alking them still. So it's still worth it. Apparently, Gargoyles are over 6 mil an hour right now, which is kind of insane. So judging by the GP gain that I had, this time task took me 15 minutes and I made 1.6 mil which means if you work that out my GP gain was over 6.4 mil that's just nuts how can you make 6.4 mil from gargoyles I know it was in Curadel's dungeon so it's a bit better Alkin with the spring cleaner and the new salvage like where the Addy full helms would be Alkin with 4k it's just insane it calculated my pure profit to be 6 mil exactly so that takes away you know that extra 400 500k that I was getting for pure profit so if I was getting 6 mil pure profit of gargoyles they are indeed better than spiritual warriors and abyssal demons which abyssal demons are sitting at 4 mil and spiritual warriors are sitting at four and a half to five that's just nuts let's try these air at boys let's try these air at bad boys look at that that is our first 40k out we've had other than the halberds which are always out for that what we've got there is a rune 
plate body which used to out for 38k but it did used to give five rune eye ore so that's slightly worse it only gives you 40k now so that is a downgrade errors are kind of worse because of that and they drop rune stone spirits now so they're kind of worse in that regards too so errors might be slightly worse gp i believe errors were eight to ten mil before so let's see how much they're worth now in gp an hour 6.8 mil gp an hour or so that's a decent amount of gp an hour i'm okay with that 6.8 mil gp an hour compared to the 8 mil it hasn't gone down much they're still very very useful and if i got a task i could probably push like seven and a half mil i reckon with tuskus wrath with the slayer helm dealing more damage so they're fairly similar to what they used to be i do feel like they've gone down a little bit just because of the stone spirits though but other than that nothing else has changed they're still very 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 good so my personal opinion on all of these different monsters I tested, they don't seem to have been changed too much. The one that seemed to be impacted the most was Dark Beast, but that was very strange. I feel like it was dropping more sharks than it should have. The stone spirits are not going to be worth as much as the ores and things like that, but Jagex already knew that because if you check the value for any of those stone spirits, the GE mid price is already really low anyway. Although some of those stone spirits really don't sell at all. But when it comes to the rest of the loot and the spring cleaner Algin and stuff, it's fantastic. I feel like they've balanced the salvage and the spring cleaner very, very well compared to how it used to be. They've done a very good job to rework all of these different drop tables of every single monster and had them come out pretty close to what they used to be. Good job on Jagex's part with all of the balancing and stuff because that must have took so much time. Do let me know what you think of the changes. Do let me know if any of the bossing and stuff has been impacted heavily. I can imagine Nex being really bad with the Runite all on the coal drops. Now being replaced with Stone Spirits would be kind of bad. But when it comes to Slayer as a whole, I feel like it's a pretty good rework. And I feel like the Stone Spirits and stuff might become more useful when less ores in the game. Because right now we have an abundance of ore, but there's going to be no more ore dropping. Which means the Stone Spirits might actually be useful once we start using up all of this different ore. Either way, that's it for this video. Do give it a like if you did enjoy. Loads more mining and swimming stuff to come. And until next time, see ya.